Okay, so here's the deal. I need a new challenge. Aside from working on the full N64 set, and that is still going to be number one priority, I just don't feel like by the time that this channel reaches the second year anniversary, which will be in January, which will also be around the time that it starts to get <laughs> really cold down here in South Georgia and the yard sales have phased out, that we will have obtained the last 120 plus cartridges that we need for the full US release set. And I say we because I've taken you guys on this journey with me from day one. From the day that I got this black bookcase sitting next to me and that's all I had in this room to put my games on. And now this room has just grown immensely with all sorts of awesome stuff. And I've taken you guys along with me throughout every bit of it. So I feel like it's more so our collection versus just mine. And so I need a new challenge. Now, last year when I started this channel, I didn't have one N64 game. Came across a yard sale that listed Nintendo games. I go to the yard sale and this lady has a whole box with 17 N64 games, an ice blue uh, Funtastic N64, and a whole bunch of controllers. Not all of them were N64 controllers. There were some PS2, um, the wireless katana was also a part of that, which was an awesome little find. That thing works great, by the way. And uh, inside that box of those 17 games, the most valuable game in that box was Harvest Moon. You could actually see it in the opening credits of, of the video. And... So that was a fantastic start to the N64 collection. And it has grown immensely since. I've obtained a lot uh, through yard sales, buying lots off of people. Um, I bought a lot of filler at Southeast Game Exchange last year. And along the way, I've done some trades with some of you guys that have been awesome. And I've been able to, to obtain as much as I have. But while we are working on that... I also need another mountain to climb, another project to work on, and what better project than my childhood console, the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. And so, right now, the channel is sitting at 141 cartridges. There are six complete in box. We've got this Tengen cart right here, which is uh, Tengen Tetris. Donated to the channel by an awesome friend of mine. Uh, goes by the name of Jason. Lives up in Niagara Falls, up in Canada. He's an awesome dude. I talk to him almost every day. And so, 141 cartridges. Now, I've come across a lot more than just 141. I've sold off a ton of doubles with, you know, NES bundles on Facebook Marketplace and and friends and... and uh, you know, just wherever I can, you know, sell my consoles. I don't typically sell them on eBay uh, just because I like to to stick with as much profit as I can. Uh, however, the, the rarest title, the heaviest hitting title as far as value in the NES collection is going to be Casino Kid 2. I found this in a lot last year with... A system, two controllers, I believe there was a zapper, and six or seven games for 60 bucks. I kept this and sold the rest of that bundle that I had just bought for 80 bucks. So I made my money back, I gained a little bit of profit, and I got to keep a cartridge that's going for around 100 to 110 dollars for free. So that's awesome. But we've got some really, really expensive cartridges when it comes to the Nintendo. And, I mean, we're looking at like Panic Restaurant, 
Bonks. We've got, oh gosh, Flintstones, Dinosaur Peak. We've got Little Samson. So it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a doable challenge. I, I believe that it's very doable to go for the full set. However, I'm going to exclude uh, stadium events out of this altogether. I just don't see me ever coming across stadium events in the wild. But you never know. It could happen. And I'm dang sure not spending all of that money uh, to buy one from you know a private seller. So unless I find it at the bottom of a box full of Nintendo games or video games in general and get it on the dirt cheap, it's never going to, to reach the, the likelihood of my shelves. But this is going to be the mountain. And I want your guys' help. This whole journey has been through my eyes into yours. You have seen this channel grow. You've seen this collection grow. And so, uh, if we can, you know, work out trades, if you have anything that you want to donate to the channel, as far as, you know, NES cartridges, I mean, stupid common games, I don't care what it is, um, hit me up on Facebook or Instagram, the link is in the description, the address, uh, my address, my P.O. box is also in the description, but this is going to be our next journey, we're we're going to keep N64 priority number one. We're going to continue to focus on that. We're not going to let that, you know, slide off into the background. But in the meantime, I need a new challenge. And I want your help. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, let's make this grow. Folks, I hope you're having a fantastic week. I hope you are finding some awesome stuff out there at the yard sales, at the garage sales, the thrift stores, the pawn shops, you know, from your next door neighbor, wherever you're finding your games. Fill me in in the comments of what you have found this week so far. And as always, you know, like I said, I hope you're having a fantastic week. I know I am. I'm Taddy Collector, and have a good one.